Hello everyone. In today's tutorial, we will talk about how to identify significant copy number variations out of a genomic data set. So you know that uh, there are a lot of uh, different tutorials on my, uh, my YouTube channel and other websites or you can find tutorials about different shell expression of the data set and find significant expression patterns. But it is very uh, um, uh, difficult to identify significant copy number alterations out of the overall copy number alterations. So there are a lot of ways to do that. So uh, I will start from the most basic and this will help you to reach uh, to a conclusion that which of the copy number variations are more significant out of overall copy number variations, right? So uh, in this tutorial, I will go through the logistic uh, tool that is basically meant for to identify somatic copy number alterations or you can say the significant somatic copy number alterations out of the overall copy number data set. So what is actually a copy number variation? You know that DNA segment wise upregulation or uh, amplification or downregulation or deletion of the DNA sequences are known as uh, somatic copy number changes, right? So let's start. Uh, first of all, we need a data, right? Uh, to 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 identify copy number variations or significant variations so here as i so told you that i'll i'll start from the basic exercise and that is first we need to identify some data set so first of all if you go to the c bio portal and here in the c bio portal you can see that there are a lot of different types of data sets already available right so for example you can uh, you can go through the uh, website and for example if here I search for liver right and I can just uh, search for liver and I am downloading the TCG data set of 372 liver patients and for that what I need to do is to just go on this study right and out I can download this here so while downloading it it's a 97 MB file what I'm uh, from this uh, 97 MB file we will select the uh, segmentation file of copy number variation and I will use that for to to identify the significant copy number alterations out of those so when the file will be downloaded I will share you what I am going to tell for in the meanwhile what you need to know is uh, there are different ways to analyze the gene uh, gistic you can download the gistic from broad institute here the zip file and you can perform that using your standalone project or you can use R the soft phrase I will I will explain that in the next tutorials but here for the for the uh, for the beginners what you can do is there is a one very famous broad Institute website that is gene pattern you can go here on the gene pattern and for for to, to start running this right there are a lot of different modules or analysis you can do here so what I'm doing here is first I'm just using the public server here right I'm explaining you what and yeah and to register yourself right first you need to click and uh, here and you should register yourself here and um, you should enter your username password and accept the create account and that will send you a, a registration email and then you have to uh, add these username password here and then click sign in right so after clicking sign in you will actually get into this gene pattern website yeah so here it is not only about the uh, copy number variation or of the genomic data but this uh, 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 portal has a lot of different other options as well for example if you go to the modules you can see that you can do cnv analysis you can uh, do it for gene list selection uh, pathway analysis mutational significance analysis rna sequencing analysis so on and so forth there are so many different options here so, but what I will do here is do GISTIC, right? So, GISTIC actually is uh, one copy number variation analysis tool here. And if I just search here, GISTIC here, you can see that this is for SNP analysis. And when I click GISTIC, uh, we, are, we are here. And in this, uh, in, at this portal, what you have to do is to upload a couple of files. For example, if I open the documentation from the documentation, you can understand. GISTIC requires one reference genome file which is already uploaded here for example HG19 and one segmentation file right and this segmentation file 
uh, should be uploaded here and and then the marker file if you have the marker file or other files you can upload here because if you check the documentation the gistic actually needs the input file that is required that is the segmentation file that is the segmentation file and that is required for the mm, uh, for the for, for as an input and this egg segmentation file contains chromosome uh, name first sample name then chromosome number then start position then end position and then number of markers and then segmentation right so this is the uh, uh, this is the this is the pattern which we need to uh, have while using the gene gestic algorithm and if you click the example here you can see that segmentation file contains a sample id chromosome id then the chromosome start position end position and number of markers this number of mark num number of markers are actually the probe ids if you know what is probe just go and search it and you can understand that the identification markers present between these regions so 2632 markers were identified between these start position and end position and with the segmentation value of this so gistic requires this input file right and others are optional so we will so we will go with the uh, only the segmentation file reference genome is required which is already uploaded here right so up uh, now the the file is downloaded here if i just open this file here and you can let me go to the file here if you let's see yeah so this is a pan cancer atlas data here the tcj data is of copy number variation rna expression so on and so forth but here there is a segmentation file right that is actually the segmentation of of uh, copy number variation in across all chromosomes here you can say that this is a tcj start position this is the chromosome id chromosome start position end position number of markers and segmentation right so what you have to do is to upload this file here right yeah, so you have to go to the this file this file and you have to upload this segmentation file here right and these other files are optionals and you can set the default parameter and you have to set run right and after setting it to run you can say that see that here the job is start to process here now it's in, it's on pending and when the job would be done they will share the they will share the results right so uh, till then we have to wait for uh, for some time and uh, after some time we will get the results and i will explain those results one by one to you okay now so after uh, running the file you can see that the results would be downloaded here right so you can just uh, download the file by clicking the uh, uh, the whole uh, job and then click download job and it will prepare to download there are different types of files you can see here that all data by gene all legions dot configuration underscore 90 all thresholds by gene amplification genes amplification q plots deletion q plots and so on and so forth these files are actually are divided I, i'll show you all the files one by one for instance if i go here and i'll just just uh, I just unzip this file and this is 402604 so this is the file all these files are here so I just make it a bit more large I can so you can see so I all data by genes contain uh, or maybe I should put it in so you can say all data by gene this is a 54 MB file and it contains all the genes and copy number variation of each gene in each uh, sample for example this is the gene so here you can see that this file contains 23000 gene information all the protein coding genes most of the genes and and the copy number values for example based on that segmentation in, uh, information they have classified into that region into genes right so remember the marker file or the uh, we in, we gave input into the into the into the logistic results 
and uh, in this district uh, website and that segmentation file is now converted into gene file and all the genes for example here you can say AGRN gene so that is present in chromosome number one uh, 1p 36.33 and in this sample ID this is the copy number value right so in this way you can do it so uh, this is the basic exercise I'm as I, I told you that I used already segmented file right so but if you want to do it from the beginning you have to download the raw files and first you have to generate the uh, segmentation file and that segmentation file can be uploaded here just like I did for the for the for this TCGA data right so first one is all data by gene so you can select the gene of interest for example your gene of interest is GNB so you can see that the copy number values in each sample are mentioned here so next is the all lesions by configuration so here these are the peaks amplification peaks so these are the uh, significant out of those all the segmentation files these are the 45 sig significant peaks of amplification that are present in this 1p region 2p region 3p 4, uh, 4p and 5p and so on and so forth so these are the amplification peaks and their start position and end position along with the deletion peaks right so these are the uh, 45 deletion peaks present in the in this data and their chromosomal coordinates so you can also select the uh, so what actually Gistic uh, did is uh, from all the segmentation results Gistic uh, calculated the most significant regions and now you can see that uh, out of all 370 patients there are 22,000 genes and all out of those 22,000 genes and all the regions these are the 45 deletion and 45 amplification peaks so there are 90 regions which are significant out of all the regions right so this is a text file so here you can see the copy number values are also mentioned here that uh, here you can see that 0 represents that uh, there is no amplification or deletion 1 represents that there is an amplification and if there is any uh, here if you look into the deletion file this is the amplification file and then in the deletion peak you can see the deletion region so right so these are the for the deletion regions and for amplification that is amplification region so so you can uh, estimate that as well all thresholds by genes so this is another file here the 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 this file actually all data by gene is now translated into th uh, based on the threshold into uh, calls absolute copy number calls for example here the uh, here the, this is minus 3.01 now you can see here that there is no minus 3.01 but there are uh, 0 minus 1 1 so there are four active you you can find four values here one would be 0 that is for normal minus 1 is for heterozygous or hemizygous deletion and there would be some place where you can see minus 2 as well like uh, here it is 2 somewhere it would be minus 2 so minus 2 represents uh, uh, homozygous deletion so 0 is for normal minus 1 is for heterozygous 2 minus 2 is for homozygous deletion similarly 1 is for amplification here if you can see that there are there were amplifications I uh, yeah so here this is 1 is for amplification 1 copy amplification and then uh, 2 is for if there is any 2 we saw the 2 here so 2 is for high copy amplification for more than one copies of amplification so this is actually the all threshold by gene results and then uh, amplification configuration actually this file tells you that uh, you cannot uh, understand here from here clearly let's let me paste it in excel and you can see that from microsoft excel right here you can see so each region which were significant peaks amplification peaks you can see that there are so you can see that there are 45 peaks which uh, which we sh saw in the previous uh, file so each peaks contain these genes which are significant right so you can also select the genes out of it and this is the q plot and the q plot is telling you uh, based on the all the chromosome 1 2 3 to 22 all the peaks with the significant peaks in these regions so yeah so you can also visualize it using the uh, PDF file similar the similar results are for uh, deletion configuration again you can see that these are the, the same files for deletion region these are the files for uh, the, this is for the deletion plot all the plots here and 
and yeah and this is just an overall heat map raw copy number present in all the genome so you can uh, do it by by gene right so here all these files uh, contains basically uh, the gen genetic copy number variation information and mainly based on all the data as well that all data by genes and all based on the thresholds and also the significant peaks and what uh, a type of uh, genes are present in those peaks and what are their genomic coordinates so i think that is enough for today and uh, i hope you will you will learn a lot from this tutorial thank you very much bye bye